National Audubon Society is having a climate action workshop on Sunday, November 6th at the Rocky River Nature Center starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, running until about noon. Uh, but before that, there is going to be a bird walk at 8.30 in the morning, again, at the Rocky River Nature Center. Um, to get a workshop, we'll be covering advocacy, uh, things, in, more information about climate, what you as a citizen can do to help. So we hope that you can attend. Uh, Western Cuyahoga Audubon is a co-sponsor of this workshop. Uh, one of the important things about being at the Rocky River Nature Center is the Rocky River Reservation, as a matter of fact, the entire east branch of the Rocky River Valley and, and watershed is part of an important bird area, or IBA. Maybe you've heard of them. An IBA is a place that has been studied. Uh, they had to be chosen by National Audubon because of the research that had been done. But what's really neat is that Western Cuyahoga Audubon, a few years ago, had done a lot of research in the Rocky River IBA. So uh, in 2012, this report came out, Rocky River Important Bird Area Survey, the breeding birds in the forest. This was accomplished through, well, first of all, a lot of people working very hard, taking data, going out every two weeks, 10 days taking data on forest breeding birds and get just making sure that that data is available. So in the future, should there be some changes in that forest, should uh, invasive species need to be taken out, or the park needs to choose what to do about a particular area, there is background data as to why this area is important. There is a second important bird area in the Cleveland region, uh, the Doan Brook uh, Dyke 14, now called the Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve, is also an important bird area in which some of our members are, be, are involved in is, uh, taking data. And we have to remember that important bird areas are not just for birds that, hey, this is a great place for the birds to see the birds in the summer. These are places that birds need in the summer for nesting, in the spring and fall on migratory routes, and even in the winter time too. Places where, where maybe birds from the north are spending their winters here, uh, or just having time to refuel maybe before even heading further south. So important bird areas, well, there's a lot of places that are important for birds, but these specific areas, like the Rocky River important bird area and the uh, Doan Brook Dyke 14 important bird area are, are, have been researched and we hope that in the future they will remain and, and be utilized uh, by uh, other researchers, perhaps uh, to make changes to benefit the birds as well too, and to benefit people. The Climate Action uh, Workshop will help with this because we know that, that the changing climate uh, is affecting more than just birds, it's affecting vegetation, it's affecting uh, amphibians, it's affecting insects, it's affecting a lot of things. And in order for us to understand what, what changes are happening, that's why research such as these IBAs are done. So we have a database, we have background information. So in the future, be it one year, two years, 10 years, we have a much better understanding as to what's going on. So we hope that we can see you on Sunday, November 6th at the Rocky River Nature Center for this uh, a uh, climate action workshop at 10 o'clock. Thank you.